Right, so we're going to look at the product rule for differentiation. And this is when we have the product of two different functions of x. So for example, f of x and g of x. And the way we do this is we differentiate the first function and multiply it by the other one. And then we add the other way around scenario. So the second one differentiated multiplied by the first function. And if we look at an example now, we can see this has the first function of x and this has the other function of x. And so to differentiate this, we differentiate this one and times it by this. Then add the other way around, this one differentiated times this. Okay, so let's just make a note. f dash x will be equal to 3x squared. g dash x, the derivative of g is equal to 2. f dash x times g of x is 3x squared times 2x plus 1. Add the other way around, which was 2 times the original x cubed, so 2x cubed. Okay? We can tidy this up if we get 6x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x cubed, which simplifies to 8x cubed plus 3x squared. And that is our derivative of this function here. And just to prove that this hasn't changed at all from the differentiation we know and understand, let's have a look at the derivative of this if we were to expand it first. The derivative of this will be times the 2 by the 4 is 8, drop the power by 1, x cubed, and then times by the 3, drop the power by 1, 8x cubed plus 3x squared, we get the exact same thing. Okay, so we're going to look at the following example where we have y equals e to the x over x to the power of 5. But remember, we can rewrite this original thing as e to the x times by 1 over x to the 5, which in terms of powers is the same as e to the x times x to the minus 5, and this is now perhaps a clearer product rule. So, let's have a go at doing this. Let's look at it being e to the x times x to the minus 5, differentiate the first, e to the x differentiates to e to the x, and times it by x to the minus 5, and then add the other way around, e to the x, not differentiated, which is still e to the x, times by the derivative of x to the minus 5. So we times by the power, and then minus 1 from the power, and we get minus 5 x to the minus 6. Tidying this up a bit, we get e to the x over x to the power of 5, and we're going to be minusing 5 e to the x over x to the 6, and now we can combine this, and we'll get e to the x times x, so that we have a common denominator of x to the 6, and we're going to minus 5 e to the x, and this can now all be written over x to the power of 6, and so we get x e to the x minus 5 e to the x over x to the 6, and also with this, again, we can factor out e to the x. So what we get is this is equal to e to the x. x minus 5 over x to the power of 6.